one our Bewley supercar weekend. We are, we're at the bottom of the supercar run. Uh, so all the cars are about to arrive. Uh, need to get all cameras set up. Need to go and do all my notes. Oh, it's gonna be a busy day. Right, let's do a run up supercar run. As you can see, that track is not very long at all. Uh, it's not very wide either, but the cars will still get up to quite a lot of speed up there. to look after me i've had to go and pick up my camera and they've sent me a limo go-kart with my own driver hello nat hello right let's get back to the show so cars are all coming in here we're probably going to get overtaken by a supercar now uh, let's go and have a look at what's turned up so far is this as fast as this thing goes nat yes it is indeed is not, this, is not this fast flat enough. out it is flat out come on We've got a Porsche behind us, come on! Let's have a look, we've got Mustangs on the drive over there. This is where staff are, but more importantly, all the drivers of our supercars are over there. The Porsche hasn't caught us yet. We've got our camera on James. James, hello! Marketing, hello. hello! This is the hub of all of the operations. Right, here we are. No admittance to arena. That doesn't apply to me. Members of the public are just arriving, so we're gonna go and do an official welcome, which is gonna be broadcast on the big screen over there. Off you are, Tim. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Bewley and our supercar weekend. We have got an action-packed weekend lined up for you. We have got four live action events coming up for you, as well as thousands of supercars on display. Coming up for you at 12 o'clock, we have got the first of two demonstration runs. These will be taking down the main straight. At 1.30 this afternoon though, we need your help. Coming up in the main arena, we are going to have our supercar sound off. Now if you've been to the Beauty Supercar Weekend before, you know that we do two separate prizes. We measure every single car to see which one is loudest. But that's not how they win our sound off challenge. They win by getting your votes. We ask you, the public, to cheer as loud as you can for the car that you think sounds the best. So that's all coming up for you. We have two demonstration runs coming up. One at 12 o'clock and another at 2.30. And then we have two sound offs. One coming up at 1pm and another at 3.30. Enjoy yourselves at the Supercar Weekend. If you've got any pictures and videos you want to share with us as well, use the hashtag Supercar Weekend. That's hashtag Supercar Weekend. We're across all of the socials. Please do have a fantastic day here with us at the Supercar Weekend. So a bit more behind the scenes, we're heading over now to the driver's briefing. Uh, let's see if all of our drivers are going to behave this year. Uh, I have told members of the public, when you run down that hill, if you do it and you stop dead centre, they're going to give you a cheer. As a second incentive, if you don't do it, if you stop too short or too long, they're going to heckle you. I hope there's no double <laughs> 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 Nice. Um, <laughs> Randall Cartwright, Steve Morrison, and Michael Taylor. 
Hello. Mike is STR, is it? I haven't heard of an STR beast. Yeah, it's cool for the next question. Oh, amazing. Aston Martin GTA. Uh, Mustangs Unleashed, the only... Hello, sir. Yeah. Need to see you as well. Uh, Aston Martin DBS. Thanks. Hello, sorry to keep you waiting. Are we in a McLaren? Yes, we are. 12C? 12C, yes. Don't tell me, 3.8 litre V8. Yeah, twin turbo. And it's a 5 litre supercharged V8. Yeah. 4 and a half litre V8. Yeah. NA. Um, yeah. Have you got your mic here? Uh, E63S AMD Mercedes. Power uh, is uh, 5575 because it's 25 on. Uh, Project 8, Jaguar. Yeah, 5 on. X12 Superfast. I love the Superfast. Still yeah. Porsche 991. One GTS. Maserati. MC Stradale. Koenigsegg. Ooh. Uh, uh, Koenigsegg, which one have we got? A Gale R. 1,300 brake horsepower. Does they even do 60, do 100. It's in the three, three <laughs> seconds. 2016 5-litre supercharged V8. Thanks for doing 575 horsepower, 3.2, 200 mile an hour, 113,000 pounds. Right, uh, as you've probably heard, we've got a bit of a competition going on between our drivers and it all involves this spot right here. What we told the drivers to do, because some of the cars here are so powerful, if we were just to let them run all right down the hill, they would embed themselves into an historic monument. Now, all of you together, we've done the cheering, if they fail to do it, I've told them that you're going to heckle them. I want to hear you all boo as loud as you possibly can. Okay? We're going to do it after three. Ready? One, two, three. Nice. The first of our two demonstration runs here at Bewley, our supercar weekend. We're going to start British. And we are going for an Alotus Evora GT410. Uh, Ginetta, only 
associated with these were made, and this was the very last one. 260 horsepower, but with a 4 litre Roco. Gentlemen, start your engines. This is like trying to herd cats. Uh, we're going to rev them all up together after three. Ready? One, two, three, go! It's not an 
easy job, this. Um, right, we're going to start with this. We're going to start with our F-Type SVR. This one has got the 5-litre supercharged V8. How confident do you feel? Well, was confident. He was confident, and then he saw what else turned up. Well, let's have a listen to what 8 cylinder sounds like. Here behind me, it's a three and a half litre V6 supercharged. supercharged. Um, how confident are you? Not particularly. Not particularly. <laughs> now, this guy in previous years, correct me if I'm wrong, you bought a Lotus here last year. You had a lease down, yeah. You had a lease yes. with a full pot engine in it, it was. and you cheated because you put the exhaust on the shelf over there, <laughs> didn't you? Right, have you cheated this year? No, no, this is totally standard, I promise. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, okay, let's have a listen, shall we? We're going to move now from six cylinders back up to eight, but we're going to go over to America. A five litre Toyota V8 in this. The V8 starts. Let's hear it! This has been interesting because we've got a Lamborghini but we've also got an Audi R8 V10. These cars, as you know, share quite a few parts between them. And the engines, very close indeed. Both of them 10 cylinders. It's a V10 Lamborghini. Do you want to hear what it sounds like? You do? Let's hear it! Right, so we go from 10 cylinders in Italy to 10 cylinders in Germany. Now I can tell you, R8 uh, V10 is hand-built by 70 engineers in Germany. When it's finished, more than 200 lasers scan the entire car and take over 200 measurements and each and every one of them has to be within 0.1 of a millimetre. Let's hear it. It may only have a 3.6 litre V6 in it, twin turbo, but it's not tight it's not tight it? and a full carbon body and a host of other tricks in there as well. So even the wasp wants to get involved in your car. So let's see what this sounds like. You guys over there, well, you don't need earplugs, you need welding masks. Take it away. Let me hear you now, please. That's a 
quite a few. This one's done. Let it hit. The Lamborghini. The Audi. Such a difference. They're the same engine. And the GTR. This was done. A ripple. And this was done. Let it hit. Right, I think it's down to two. I think we're between the GTR and this Mustang. So we're down to, if this wasp wouldn't mind going away. But I'm busy, I'm busy, can't I? Um, so, we're down to two. We are down to a Mustang and we are down to a Nissan GTR. This is it, ladies and gents. If you're going to cheer for one of them, make sure you do it now. If you thought the GTR was the best sounding car here, cheer now. If you thought the Mustang was the best sounding car here, cheer now. Yeah. 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 All right. Last chance. GTR. If you thought GTR won't well, let me hear you. I just, it was so close, I almost got damned to get the death knell made for eight again. But, ladies and gents, I give you your winner for the first Supercar send off here the Ford Mustang! <laughs> Remind me of your name. My name is uh, Darren Mills from APAN Insurance. Now you're from APAN. Why is it important that people have proper insurance on a supercar? So it's really important to make sure you've got the right cover in the event of having an accident, you get the right repairs done in terms of the, uh, the policies that we offer. We're very much the place to come to. I'm going to prove why it's so important to have supercar insurance by failing miserably at this. And we've set this up that whoever beats my time first wins a special prize. So let's see how bad I can do this. Three laps, Silverstone National. Right, here we go. 57 to 8 1. 57 to 8 1. Do you reckon you can beat it? Of course you can. <laughs>
got in the car. This has got air conditioning in the seat. <laughs> this is a five litre Mustang. Take it away. My lord. Okay, this is a different perspective. We've got eight cars here with us. Before we begin, uh, would you like to hear all of them together? I'm not sure you would. Do you want to hear them all together? Much better. Okay then. I've always wanted to do this. Gentlemen, start with No point dusting yourself off. Much worse is coming. Um, right, what did we get to? 123.7. 123.7. So, so not enough to beat the formidable Mustang, but it's not about volume, it is about sound, which we'll come on to later on. Now then, we're going to see how loud you all are, ladies and gents. Uh, so, Dan, go and take your position for me. This is your translation, gents. Let's see if you can beat the Mustang for volume. We're going to warm you up to begin with, so let's just have a little practice run. Can you all cheer for me after? One, two, three. <laughs> right, so, right, after three, I want you to cheer as loud as you possibly can. Let's see if we can break Dan's decibel meter. One, two, three, go! <laughs> 112, not bad, ladies and gents, not bad at all. Do you think that the Mustang is the best sounding car here? Please, let me hear you cheer now. If you thought the NSX was the best sending car here, please let me hear you cheer now. You got some votes. If you thought the R8 was the best sending car here, let me hear you now. If you thought the Daytona Coupe was the best sending here, let me hear you. If you thought the Avanza was the best sending one here, let me hear you. And if you thought the GTR was the best sending, let me hear you. What about the IC Cobra? Who saw that sending there? And this must stand who's all this ending test. We're down to three. And it's between the GTR, the Lamborghini, and the Mustang. We'll do it in reverse order. Who thought the GTR sounded best? <laughs> who thought the V12 sounded best as the Lambo? <laughs> and who thought the Mustang sounded best? <laughs> we close. Start up, let's just hear you both one last time. So it's V12 versus V8. V12. And now V8. Okay. If you thought the Lamborghini sounded best, please cheer now for me. If you thought the GTR sounded best, please cheer now for me. Yeah. It's so close. Aventador, do you want it to win? Yeah. Do you want the GTR to win? Yeah. I think you've done it. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you your supercar send off winner. 
the ultimate G T R. a close on what a start to supercar weekend we have had we've seen an ultimate gtr and a mustang take home the mustard in our supercar sound off and we have seen multiple cars strut their stuff down the main straight i'm outside palace house now it's gone nice and quiet it's cooling down which means we can sit and enjoy the rest of these hypercars make sure you're following me on all of the socials i do hope you're enjoying this video it's not over yet we've still got a day to go